Hello and welcome back. Dr. Max here with part two of our Let's Play Humankind series. Uh, we are currently in the classical era and we have just beaten Livia Drusilla here. Uh, and so we have taken some of her territory. So I think the plan right now is to focus on reconsolidating what we can, or I should say consolidating what we can, as well as making some push to claim some territory uh, without, or I should say before, the other two civilizations start snatching it up. I'm seeing Babylon here starting to maybe push their way up. So we'll let our things move. We're going to claim an outpost there. Our warriors down here, I think we want to explore and see what's going on over here in this area of the map seeing iron which is something we will need in the future to be able to build some of our better troops let's see what's going on with her okay route relations so we are at peace seeing another copper deposit okay iron is down here we also have some other iron right here which maybe I want to claim that first so maybe this person on the next turn we head down this way we are trespassing. We can't ransack that as it's now a city for them. This is now ours, so I want to stop ransacking it. And let's take stock of our city. So Haojing is not doing well. Let's build a fountain to improve its stability. And then we need to get all of our troops. Uh, they are going to start taking damage here because they're trespassing, but on the next turn we can can't quite get there but I do want to start trying to claim some of this territory here that we can like potentially down here uh, we're just gonna try and start setting up outposts oh good we have iron right here already attached to Memphis so that is fantastic So we can take stock things. Scythia and Neapolis should be demilitarized. That's fine. So these demilitarized zones are uh, interesting. Basically, if I was to enter troops there, they get leverage points against me. It's not a huge deal at this point. So we are trespassing. So let's get out of her territory and start making our way back to our own. Basically, let's give our troops a breather here. Let them heal up before we come back and try and beat her up again. And I think we station a troop on Haojing to try and increase the stability of it. And so you can see that automatically adds plus five stability there. So I'll have that unit wait. We have Mathala claimed. I think what I wanna start doing is over here, I need to start pushing up against Babylon because in looking at our era scores, uh, Babylon is our next highest competitor. Uh, we are going to beat up Olivia, so I'm not too worried about that. Ultimately, uh, Queen Mama Aklo is going to be our basically final boss of this game, I can already tell. So if we were to try and establish a... Unsurprisingly, this is going to be basically all production 216 316 221 so I think we go here not a lot of food that's not going to be its own city and that's fine uh, but we can attach it and that's pretty useful for us let's look and see if we can come down here and maybe claim some of this near this desert and then this troop over here, your goal is to just explore. And this is another independent peoples. So standing army, so now we can use iron and then uh, our mortals are online. So that's great.
I need to be cautious as to where uh, Livia is going to go here. Let's see what's going on here. Claim to territory on my border. I'll demand it and then withdraw, and that will give me some more war support. They apparently are stronger than me. We'll see if that is really true. We are the last place here in fame. That's okay. No doubt this independent people possess sophisticated Found another independent peoples. I do hope you're going to treat them well. Where do we want to station this army? I think we want to start making our way south and see what we can discover down here. All right, we have a narrative event. Uh, farming districts, blossoming of knowledge, so we can either have our units be stronger or have them have food. I think we do that instead because we aren't going to be attacking anyone. Ooh, chocolate hills. No, not actually made. Very cool. But that probably hasn't stopped some folks taking a bite. It also then frees us up. So fishing philosophy adds another city. We're at three out of five right now. Ultimately, we will want to get there. Hydrology is really good for the aqueduct. Fortifications is strong. Conquest. I think we'll go fishing quickly and then into philosophy. Maybe fishing first, and then philosophy. There you go. So Haojing is slowly improving its stability. What's going on over here in Thebes? I think we need to really make a priority of starting to attach things here. I don't like that. I may even just go raid that if I can. I don't like them claiming stuff on my border. Gemstones are good. We are in a position right here to, if we save up enough, we can make them a client state in about five turns and that will give us a big boost. So maybe we uh, focus on that before we start claiming additional territories here. but I will put that person heading up that way. And let's scout out what Edgar Allan Poe is doing. Interesting, so they have an outpost here. And we can actually start to ransack that. Here. Interesting, the black is already expanding her way down there. I should say up there, I guess. Let's collect this curiosity quickly. So a lot of people are starting to horn in on my stuff. So this can be upgraded to Swordsman, which we'll take. All of these guys can also be upgraded. We need that to make our next attacks against them stronger. Let us speak. I think we are in... Okay, can't even surprise War Without 20. We're slowly going up. person's out of moves. I don't think we'd get there in time. Let me just see what an outpost around here would look like. 615 is not bad. I think maybe we go there and let Thebes get a little bit stronger. 
It's because, oh, I'm in, uh, I think we have a no skirmishes. So here's a trade route. You can still explore down here, see what's going on. Okay. Likewise, we can check out what's going on down here. Marble, interesting. Now with our empire up here, I think we maybe want to try to claim something around here-ish as well. You can see 14.8 or 18.6. I think I maybe like the 11.11. So Haojing already has a couple things attached to it, uh, but I'm not going to attach anything else because that will lower its stability. So I think right now we just focus on helping it grow. Great, stability in Memphis. Uh, I'm gonna want to take this iron deposit So we're starting to claim more stuff here. That Han is annoying. I don't think we have obsidian yet, but maybe I move. And that's too expensive to attach. Can't attach anything yet here either. Where do we want to go? Silver. Silver is useful. And keep exploring here. Okay, so they have swordsmen, a bowman. Their military is looking pretty comparable. These units, I'm just going to keep close to Feng Hao. I'm going to keep exploring down here, see what's going on. Coffee deposit, very nice. Just trying to get an idea of what I'm going up against. Here's the choke point we were talking about. I think this is fine. I'm gonna park that swordsman there. And just like that, we have iron. King Edgar reduced my war support. Sure, they're probably going to have a demand against me. I'll demand. I'll say, give me Masadi. They're probably not going to, but it'll at least inc start increasing our war support against them. I guess let's move up into the, the tundra. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of uh, interesting stuff to do there. Okay, so another army. I think maybe that's the army I saw before. We do have open borders, so I think we can just walk around and explore. Do we also have open borders with them? Close borders. Oh, we can always trespass. 
as an Imperial Empire suite. And let's check out what they have. So we've established some of these areas here on our borders. make a go at trying to look at the Mississippi. <clears throat> In the meantime, Memphis is doing fine from a stability standpoint. I don't care that much about money. This is interesting. Maybe we just make a push on trying to increase our influence. So we're gonna lose out on a little bit of food. That's a bummer. I'm gonna move this person over here as well. Well below our population cap. I wanna work on that. What did we build? Okay. Looking strong here. I guess we keep pushing for uh, or food. Yeah, I think 13 food is what we want there. Debate and discussion are not the pastimes of. <clears throat> We've discovered philosophy, so now we can really expand here. Although influence is right now a little bit of a weak point. I'll park that person there. Let's put these horse, ar horse archers to see what we're doing. So, will this independent people be an ally or an enemy? A barrier or okay, a she has access to paper. A cultural wonder. In my considered opinion, one of your competitors garnered a lot of fame building that monstrosity. Let's show details about religious rights. Procession, which I think lets you spend money to do stability. That's fine. Independent peoples, I think it may be worth trying to do this and move us away from a little bit of that, but give us more stability. They may have more to offer than just In that way. Assimilation does seem practical. Uh, taking this will be uh, 774. And that's going to be our next push. So we're going to save up for a few turns and do that. Sailing is not important, so I'm going to go to hydrology. There's literally like no water unless I want to go down there to do anything. Thebes can attach some things pretty cheaply here, so let's do that. You're chilling there. Okay. Let's check out their capital. Lots of desert separating us. Speak quickly. We're boosting our own war support from that retreat. We're in a new thing. Where would we go? 1410, 1410. That's not bad. Yeah, I think we established one there. I want to keep claiming stuff on their border. What can we get now? 
Ooh, more is this dye again? No, this is what? Salt. Yes, we'll take salt. They're gonna move back. I'm gonna try and challenge him again just to keep raising my war score against them. Speak fast, lead faster. So we're going up, this is great. As we've said, Livia is our target here. We're gonna try and wipe her out in the next war. One thing I've noticed with this relative to civilization is it's a lot harder to like actively destroy civilizations because of how war score works. Like in Civ, it was basically, okay, you know, you have some amount of war score or not even, I should say some amount of war score. You have you know, you take their cities and then basically fate accompli, you get them at the end. Let's retreat from this battle. They are trying to fight me. Interesting on their part. You have attacked me. Demand all. Then I'll withdraw. She and I are at each other's throats. So aside from Feng Hao and then uh, Lakama, there really isn't anything else here. This person start to move up. I'll fight them. Okay, what do we do in Thebes here? We can do this to get stability. We'll just put it somewhere out of the way there. Hao Jing is rapidly uh, becoming more stable, which is great for us. I want Hao Jing to grow. That's like my biggest priority here, is to make it a functioning city. It's fine, you can have that demilitarized, I don't care. You dare to come before us. I'm gonna demand this. What is ours, or your if I do that, it will give me 10 war support. Yeah, so let's withdraw those demands. That will push us up to, what, 49 plus 17. 67? No, 66. But we're gonna see if we can keep attacking them. Ooh, that's one we'd actually lose because that's a swordsman. We're a bit weaker, so I don't want to push that. Let's see if they attack me. But in the meantime, I'll get ready to... We're gonna go slowly around this, just so we don't give up <clears throat> any... Um... I don't want to give up leverage points. 
She's a lot of troops. I guess diplomats can always. So a diplomat is another uh, with this DLC something you can have, and they are allowed to trespass, so to speak. Sure, spend our money. Rhetoric is interesting. Conquest. Horsemen. Trade expeditions is okay. I think we go for fortifications. We have a swordsman, javelinier, and scout rider up there. Interesting. And there again, they are putting stuff right on my border, which is really annoying. She's placating me. She's taking away my war support. She's a punk. So, will this independent people be able to? Yeah, we don't particularly like each other. That's fine. This one I think we'd win, but I don't want to have that fight in the first place. Although I may not get a choice. Okay, Agrarian Star, awesome. Military Star will get soon enough. We have gotten all of our Expansionist Stars from this era. The one that we're going to want for the next era, the Medieval, which is really, really good, is the English. Uh, this plus seven per number of attached things is so good. And then Stronghold is also really, really good too. And then the Longbowman is a great uh, thing. So I think English is going to be our priority once we're able to get there. But we're going to slowly make our way up here. And just try to get to Fang Hao as quickly as we can. And then we'll pop up there and just spy on the comma for a little bit. That 24 industry is really powerful. So it's 15, 17 food, 6 food, 28 food. Yeah, let's do this. And we'll move another money person over there. Again, our point is to grow here. Yes, you can see. We're at 69. We're getting closer and closer. If we do surprise war, uh, we'll get... Yeah, other empires will call me a traitor. I'm fine with that. I don't have strong preferences towards how they feel about me. Let's go conquest next. And then let's see how close we are to being able to client state them. We're two turns. We're just, ah, we're a couple influence short of being able to do it on the next turn. Okay, so we'll play through this, and i got to remember next turn, make it a priority. Where are their ruins? The thing that's a bummer is that they don't tell you where the ruins are. So, like, I don't know. There? Okay. All right, so we're going to make these people our. So we can assimilate them, which basically means we take their city or client state, and this will give us a lot of science and money and influence. So we'll sign them in. Full access to an independent and they're now our friends. Just for you. And I guess we'll take this fight. I'm going to come in with a horse. We're just going to stay fortified.
I don't think there's a real point in attacking them. Nope. It's another bad draw there. But, end round again. And then I'm not going to attack. So we're still alive. If she's making these attacks. I'll refuse her demands. I'll withdraw mine. And that should push, push us pretty close to the brink here. Which means it's almost time to start doing this uh, war. Yeah, we'll go aqueduct there. Haojing, again, we're just trying to hold on to it. And I will move my troop over now. Or, let's actually see who's this. It's a swordsman. It's an attack we'd lose. Let's fight him here. Yep, I did attack you, huh? Yeah, that's not happening, I can tell you that. I'm feeling aggressive. So they're probably going to attack me soon then. So we need to start really thinking about... Uh, preparing ourselves. And we have our own swordsmen, which will slightly lose that. So I think what I'm going to do here is go back, basically flank them and make them try and give up any strong position they have. Okay, so it is inducing them to attack there, which is fine. That lets me take this. And then this person is gonna try and run away and then shoot. Since we're holding their flag, they're running out of time here. And then we can even make a stronger attack there. They can't move anymore. Got him. So our war support is going to tick up on the next turn, so we'll declare war. Alright, so we're going to start preparing to uh, move back here and attack Feng Hao. I think next turn, no matter what happens, we pull the trigger on an attack against them. And then in Memphis, we can help towards the construction of an obelisk. I think we actually go for the uh, stability here. Okay, so we're having some diplomatic incidents here. I'm going to demand all. What would this do? No way. We're just gonna declare war against them. They are at a higher war score right now. Time will tell. So we would lose that, which is not what we want. Uh, 
I will start pushing it a little bit. Against them, I think we go manual battle here. And then we're gonna have these reinforcements coming in. We can end our deployment and then let's start reinforcing with our archers. And these units that are outside the uh, fortifications are gonna be our first targets. Okay, did quite a bit of damage there. Let's come in with a swordsman. And let's continue to poke at these uh, units outside the fortifications. You. We'll get one more coming in here. Again, to do an attack. Uh, what unit is, I don't know what unit's coming there, but we're gonna back up and move here. And then we have another unit, which can now we can start attacking inside their fortification. Hopefully with that means within a turn, uh, this will fall. Probably by next round, we should be able to concentrate enough fire on this to deal them lethal. At this point, it's not worth taking these. Okay, that is a somewhat favorable trade. And let's see this one, 1932 versus 925, 1228. No, so we're not gonna take those. We'll wait for them to come in with their swordsmen. And now that they've vacated their flag, Ah, well, they haven't, but we can hit their swordsman again, doing a ton of damage. But this is all they have for troops here. Not doing a lot of damage to that swordsman. It's pretty powerful. And as far as that 0 to 20, I think it's uniformly distributed within that. Don't quote me on that, but that feels right. So we are moving, we're making relatively slow progress here. I've already attacked. Let's give this a chance to move up and do some damage. Down to 15, and then can this end it? Oh, I just don't want it to. Yeah, it's high ground and fortification. And this is already attacked. I'm just trying to make sure that all of my ranged units have attacked. The answer is yes, so we'll end the round. I think we're gonna lose one of our swordsmen. But their swordsmen will die. And there you go. All right, so this should do it. Slowly but surely. There we go. All right, took their city. We got a militarist star. We're up to six. Uh, remaining stars that we need here. Militarist is fine. We're pretty close to this, um, the science star. Gold, I always find them way off on gold. Uh, agrarian, we're doing all right. And then builder stars, we can probably do as well. Um, I may try and go for this. And this as well. Maybe we could even snag this and this, and then we'll transcend. It all depends on if other civilizations are making their move to uh, the third. A proposal. He wants to share maps. Sure. I'll learn about you. You're not immediately on my radar here. Okay, so they only have two cities. So we're beating them there. Um... 
Things are looking really good here against them. Their war support is tanking. Hopefully we can quickly take this and end this. And I don't know if they're running out any armies here against us. So fingers crossed. We do have some outposts that we could start attaching to like a Thebes, but I'm gonna wait there. Because this is all archers, this is what we're gonna run over to try and take their other city as quickly as we can. Their diplomat is not gonna be in a good position to try and retake Feng Hao. We are getting a so civic osmosis. So what can happen here is basically uh, nearby territories like um, potentially the the black civilization. They, if they're exerting enough influence on you, can make you um, do this. So if you do it, you don't have to spend uh, influence to do so, which is great. So yeah, you can see that uh, Mama Aklo is the one who is uh, causing this for us. If we refuse, we get a big stability hit here. I don't think that I have enacted this um, thing yet, right? If I show civics, army composition, no, I haven't. So basically, I'm getting a free one. It's maybe not my preferred, but it makes my unit stronger and it's free, so I'll take it. They are coming with four troops right here which is itself is pretty strong. If I park it on the high ground, I think I should be in a position to beat them. Uh, I'll renounce this. I'm not ready for war at this point. I'm gonna refuse that demand as well. They're ready to fight me. And if they do, that's not my favorite. We got something over here. Hmm. I think at this point we go stamina to push. I want to make my troops uh, push towards uh, Lakama as quickly as I can. So Imperial Power lets us relocate the capital. This also is a new district here, the Commons Quarter, which can bump up stability, and then Siege Tactics is really nice since it make, can make your armies bigger. Um, for now, do we go Rhetoric? Foreign Outposts is whatever. We'll just do Sailing. We need to get these, and it's cheap technologies for now. Trying to keep an eye on where I think these are gonna go. They are trying to demilitarize my own zone, which is stupid. I own this. Get out of here. So who said that? Uh I don't know why she's doing that. Feng Hao is probably, yeah, quickly moving towards negative. I'm gonna refuse this since we are already on, um, we're basically already going to zero there in that population. Is there a reason I would care? Maybe I can just move over here. It's another high ground area. Seems fine. And we'll skip and see if they attack. I'm happy to skip here as well. And let's see if we can... So they've established a city over there because of course they have. Okay. This is probably a battle says we would win. I'm not too sure about that. The only problem in trying to potentially take this from Livia Drusilla is that we're going to only have um, range units and they're not very obviously strong against that. It's really a, it's freaking annoying that she 
did that. So maybe I push here. I basically keep high ground and I stay there. And then since Feng Hao is pretty pissed at me anyways, I make a step towards trying to attack it. And if I can get this city, their diplomat should get owned here pretty hard. Yep, killed it, that's great. Our goal is to take Oxwatik before they can start to build additional cities. Uh, in Memphis, what I want to do now is just try and churn out like an immortal, I think. I basically want to try and churn out a unit here quickly. And immortals are strong too. Three, four. We're going to sacrifice some population in doing that. It's annoying. I know I can do this. As long as no one's going into three, we're okay. All right, it's time to make a push here and try and take this. They're just going to have Ah, okay. Yep, so we'll besiege it. Yeah, those immortals are going to be real important here to begin the move up to besiege. And then we'll see if we can make a push towards uh, Oxwatik here at this point. I think they're quite constrained in what they can do as far as attacking goes. All right, in Haojing, we're stable. Things are looking good. I could attach it and make it stronger, but I think at this point we're going to go for an influence district. Get some golden influence per turn. We're getting close to population. We may even be close to getting another uh, science star, and that's, I think, worth it as well. There, they stole, what'd you steal? Ah, that's fine. Again, I do not want to fight at this point. Yeah, it says at this point we can't win. I'm gonna back up and park it and Feng Hao, and then we're gonna make a push here to attack this city. And this is something I feel like we should win. So I'll park up here and just try and pepper them. I think it should be relatively even trades going in, so we'll slowly, we may get bad draws here and there, but we should slowly win that fight. Uh, but this guy's not going to fight anyone right now. In fact, defending, he's much stronger. Yep, barely taking any damage. There we go, we get the kill there. And now we step in. And can attack and do a ton of damage here. And we'll see if they want to attack. We do control their flag. And they should die there. Great, so we've taken the city. There's a lot of interesting war support stuff happening here. That's fine. I'll renounce. I, again, do not want to have a fight against anyone else at this point. My goal is just to get in here and do this. We'll get into craftsmanship. I'm fine with this. I still don't think I can assault it yet. We're building up a, a battering ram. I think maybe on the next turn we can do this.
If I wait one more turn, it's not bad, it can fire. I think at this point we assault it. Yep, yeah, so they're all within this. That's to be expected. We'll have our reinforcements come in. They're not going to be able to do anything useful right now. Great, and then he can, uh, can you attack? Yes. At this point, I don't want them to be able to have two people attacking my ranged units, so we're gonna end the round. They'll do some damage to my archers, which is not my favorite thing in the world. They're pushing in there, which is interesting. They might be able to get this, which feels bad. I can just retreat him, though. So now they put themselves in an interesting position, though. Because I can hop in here, and that will hurt them for a lot. This one may be able to run back through and do some damage. But we've killed there. And then if I do this... And hit him again. They need to make a push towards their flag. I can also do that. So like at this point, I, I don't understand. She has some units hanging around, I guess, but she should be almost dead. She has four units. We'll go science investing here. Uh, Haojing is not particularly well defended. And so let's see, they have two swordsmen. I think that I want that unit to come in. I don't care that I'm going into a Demilitarized zone, I basically just want to make it harder for this troop to move away at this point. So that one is gaining stability. Fanghao is probably losing it, so let's move back. And then we have some immortals, which are up here, which we can start to move over uh, to Haoxing to reinforce for now. Thebes. Let's attach, make Thebes stronger. And build some iron. And we'll end turn, and I'm wondering if basically this will... Yeah, so we can now end this war. The next challenge is to come up with a suitably epic name. And so I'm hoping I can just full annex her here. The Feng Hao one is too expensive. I hate this. I am going to go for the full Feng Hao. And then there's 40. I can't take this other stuff, which is so annoying to me. I'll already be taking this. I can't take Masati. Oh, no, I can't. 42 versus 43. Hmm. I could just make them a full vassal here, but, I mean, at this point, we're really crippling them. You are generous and well appreciated. That's enough. A mere indiscretion. Because at this point, they just have uh, Oxwitik and then Lakama, which is totally surrounded. So I don't think there's really anything they can do. Thebes, I'll attach this. It's very expensive. 
and it's going to make that less stable. Fang Hao is going to need some help here. Hao Xing's doing well, and we can start to do that, but at this point, we'll come back. So we'll call that a successful war there. Park him there. You can just sit, and then we'll get off your land. At this point, chill, you can go there. Can go there, and then can go there. So we have uh, Aspect of Faith. So plus two influence from Mountain, that one's okay. That one's worthless here, because we don't have any seawater uh, forest. I can also change up my religion. Let's go Taoism. That just seems fun. And then we'll go for Shelter, the True Oracles. Beautiful. So now I'm hoping our Holy Site will be a little... Taoist Temple once it's built. Are we at the point where... No, we can't have five yet. And then we're really close to getting a lot of this. This Leverage one is pretty good. Militarist Stars is fine. All right. We have some relations with each other. Let's heal. Park it. What do we build in Feng Hao here? We're basically at zero food. We can't build anything yet because our stability is way too low. But we're going to get another iron, which is fantastic. Once we do get to that uh, stability, we can start to... I mean, maybe we should even go... We'll go that afterwards to start boosting our stability up. We got our Diplomat Star, which is great. We're going to get our Population Star. I don't think Militarist is going to work for us, but Builder Star and then Aesthete Stars are very much doable for us. Let's look at our Religious Tolerance. We could go Hostility. Maybe I go for more of a Globalism on territories of that, sure, we'll enact open-mindedness. Well that so sounds good. And, and then here we have some immortals, which can just park it. You can just park it on Fang Hao as well, and slowly we'll start to take these in. What I do need to do here to avoid uh, getting overrun by Edgar Allan Poe is to start working on claiming these spaces between, even though they're not very good. They're mostly desert. Uh, some of these ones, like the Mississippi, are worthwhile. And then they have now done that, which is annoying. Maybe I can go sack that outpost. Okay, Thebes is looking fine. We can get some food from that. Industry for 18 for 3. That seems like the best. Although I will go stability first and then into that. We're fighting a battle here. Uh, retreat. I suppose I should be I'll renounce. You attacked me, I'll renounce. Awesome, got an agrarian star. She's coming to attack me, which is really annoying. So we're gonna start moving away. In Memphis, religious minorities, what can we do here? 
following a foreign religion. So that keeps us there. This one would move us more towards more stability. I care more about stability, I think, than money at this point. So here's what I want to do. Move here and then bring them back to Memphis. I'm going to move another money over here to try and grow faster. And then, oh yeah, let's get that food. I think we go siege tactics. I want bigger armies, and I may not have a choice how quickly I'm able to fight Queen Mama Aklo. So enlighten, we can get plus five science. There's another narrative event that can happen, or fanatical enlighten. Getting close. We're, what, one district away. I don't think we're going to get militarist. And then Aesthete, we're, like, maybe three turns away from that. I'll refuse that osmosis. It's annoying, but it is what it is. And then I'll start moving this troop towards here. And then these guys are going to make their way there, and then you'll pass there. Got our build a, Builder Star, which is great. Now we're just going for Aesthete. What is she doing? Oh, Tyrannical. Alright, she's getting ready to attack. I'll renounce. Is there anything going on here? Uh, we'll demand. I'm going to just keep... I'm going to refuse your thing. All they... Oh, they're... Okay, they're slowly going over here, so I guess they're going to try and establish another city over there. As I said, it's really hard to make these pushes to get rid of... Um, the, like, other civilizations. It's really hard to knock them out. They tend to be pretty resilient here. I'm starting to think she's going to attack my client state, which really upsets me. So we're going to actually just skip a turn. Yeah, I don't like you attacking my client state. They're my client state. Bang House still in a little bit of turmoil. We can get 20 food, 2 food, or 28 food for 2. And then I'm going to support my client state. So Hao Jing is doing fine. Since we're a couple turns away from this, I want to give myself one more chance. That's going to eliminate production. I don't want to do that. A lot of these industry gaining things aren't really worthwhile at this point. Seven and seven, seven and eleven. I think I'm going to go with the seven eleven. I don't want to give up my production there. And then in my capital, Memphis. I think I also maybe make a push. 10, 9. Okay, we'll do that. With 30 leverages, it's clear that your business is to mind everyone else's business. Some other place should be demilitarized, sure. What's going on with her? I'll demand those. Okay. 
She is going after my... I'll withdraw. That's fine. I'm going to refuse your demands. I don't care. I don't like you. Alright. Cool. He likes me. Maybe pushing this way is desirable. For now, maybe I even try and propose an alliance with him. This proposition should be in all our best and you said no? That's okay. It'd be nice if we could, but if you don't want to, I'm not going to force the issue. Let's start pushing our troops over here. And then we'll have that guy skip a turn. Alright, what did we... We got our Esthete Star. Great. They are attacking me. I'm not going to get reinforcements. So we'll retreat for now. I could make a push to try and get this Militarist Star. I'll demand it and then withdraw. I think at this point we don't transcend just yet. No, I don't want to attack your freaking thing. Who is this coming from? It's coming from them. Yeah, sure. I'm okay with weaker units. There is two cities on their part which are here, so maybe we even sneak down. What do you say? Open borders. Sure. Thing how is slowly making its way up. And they're attacking me down here. This is a retreat. Yeah, she's really attacking me. She's being a punk. My goal is to beat her around here. And hopefully her troops do not move away. They are. I don't like that. Let me see if I can chase them. How close can we get? I think we'll be able to push an attack here. They have a diplomat, oh no, a rain, interesting ranged unit, and then a horseman. But I am going to try and do this attack. There they go. I'll renounce that for leverage. I really want to get the kills, but I don't know if we will. We are getting really close to getting the other scientist star, so at this point I think we're we're in it. Okay, and they have swordsman, chariot, and then this good unit there. Mm, well, instant resolution, we're gonna lose that. Yep, that's fine. Man, their city, Harappa, is very strong. 20 population. I 
I think we're just going to wait for, I don't think we're going to be able to get them on um, the militarist. I, I just don't think that's going to happen. Where is Masadi? So bummer, I don't think we're gonna uh, get the militarist stars here, but I'm defending my territory and we'll just hold tough. And we'll park that guy in there. What I can do is clear forest, which is an interesting, we can do that, sure. It will give some production to Thebes. Get a little bit of food, some industry, that 11 industry is not bad. I think we make one more push for this. As long as we get part of the way into constructing it before we swap, we should be able to finish it. Uh, Hao Jing now, I will attach, I think, Veltaire. So Hao Jing is looking a little bit stronger. You dare to come us. Let's demand these and start pushing up my war support to potentially take out Livia Drusilla again soon. In that instance then, I think I want to start running up towards their capital. There we go, we got our era star, which is great. Who did she transcend into? Please, for the love of God, don't be the English. Speak Mississippians, okay, awesome. All right, I'm gonna transcend now, or I said move up to... I really like the English. The Mongols are interesting. and you get the Mongol Horde, which is super duper powerful. Uh, this though, seven food per number of things, and then this stronghold is fantastic since it gives you stability and gives you basically food as well, is just really, really strong. So I'm gonna move to the English here. And let's see if we can, before we end this video, take out Livia. Do some real damage. Destitute and bountiful, rationalize or fanatical. Wow, zoo. Sure, I'm okay with that, whatever. We'll go mounted warfare. And here we move to the next era. Wisdom and technical. Whatever you think. And we are the agrarian English. And now our goal is to get people. And we will. Trust me. So you'll see here this uh, stronghold is nuts. It increases stability and food. And when you are just able to really start piling it on, it's insane. And so again here, you'll see a very quick way to get food. It's pretty crazy. And we'll attach Shireen as well. 
Land rights, what does this do? Ooh, that's really good. This I found I don't use too often, but this communal land is really good. More food, you grow faster. And so here we'll do this again. These also let us create uh, interesting spawn points. And now you can do this thing where you basically, um, there also I should have mentioned this much earlier, uh, whatever civilization you do based on their kind of affinity, they, you can enact these things here. So greener pastures, basically you automatically get population and they come from other cities. So here three would come from my own city, Memphis, but I would also get some from other civilizations too. What is going on here? You like me? How about I try to propose an alliance again? Beautiful. What's up with you? I'm going to demand it. I'm waiting for the jealous types to say things like, it's just a big pile of rocks. I'm going to wait one turn before I decide to make an attack. against Livia and hopefully just wipe her out. Let's get her out of here. What does she have? Some scouts in my territory. We're at 90. It's time to fight. I don't care about that. I don't care that you are not helping me fight them at this point in time. That's not a battle we can win. So I think we start to mosey our way up here. And we'll pass. You'll pass. And we'll attack them on the next turn. Military architecture is interesting. I think we go Imperial Power, though. Ultimately, we're trying to make a push to get... Uh, to be able to construct our Longbowmen. So my um, immortals are quite strong. These are not the most favorable engagements, so I think we hold. And we let them attack us. They don't have this ability. It's really interesting. The AI like doesn't have an ability to like wait for favorable engagements. I don't know why, it's just anathema to, I guess, what they do. We'll end round, let them get another bad attack out. I think then they're out of troops. So we got there. Uh, they have Cahokia, and then uh, Oxwitic. I don't think I had ever enacted that, so I'm fine with this. These troops, I will actually move up. What's going on with you? Renouncing for now. Hmm. Stuck. Why can't Memphis build? I don't understand. Why is it infinite? OK, 
and then I'll trash it. I guess we're not building that. Is it because someone was on it? Well, whatever it is. I'm ready to start a push here. So we'll be able to turn out three immortals in one turn. And so then we'll just wait. And then we'll be able to engage their four units down here. What's going on? Okay, you have resources, cool. So we can now do tactical cooperation with shared logistics. That's pretty nice. What does this do? I like that. Oh, why? I don't understand why you don't want to make these deals. Doesn't make sense. Why don't you want to be my friend? So let's see, Lakama here is, eh. we'll put our troop in there. I don't think it's actually going to do anything. They're slowly kind of making their, way up. Let's see what we can do here. Sure, we can assault that. They only have two troops. We'll end deployment. Whoa, where did my mouse go? My mouse is frozen. All right, sorry, mouse issues. Mouse literally died <laughs> right in the middle of the thing. We'll pass here. Yeah, they're gonna do some really good damage, but that troop leaving now is not good for them. And in fact, don't understand. Okay, here we can go back. And then I'll move up. And then we'll go back around here. We'll see if they leave. The answer is no. But they're making bad attacks through this, so that's fine. And then this should be the round, hopefully, where we get them. So we're real close. This is a surprise. Greetings. What uh, it's going to be quite a long walk over here, but I think we need to try. You can just park it. I don't know what's going on in Memphis and why. That wasn't letting me build. I'm not sure. Scientific facts. So if we go here, 10 science versus faith. Yeah, we'll go compatibilism, whatever. There is a difference between inspiration and investigation. All right, Edgar's buying my silver. That's cool. We're in a position here where we can really bully them. I mean, her war support should be 
just tanking at this point. She can't have anything left. Oh, I can't enter there thing. Okay. Uh, I guess we just chill here. What's going on in Fang Hao? Built a stronghold. We can do another one just to really turn up the food generation. And this is where this game can really spiral out of control here as far as like me growing and stuff like that. Like Thebes, I'm just going to churn out these strongholds, so they're going to make my cities more stable, and I am going to uh, keep, you know, producing food at absurd levels. Sure. I, it's again, I don't care. At this point, let's see. We can track down their units, we sure can. At some point, they're gonna have to fight. Okay, cool. Do a lot of damage there. Lots of damage done there, you've already fired. That should get a kill. And so here, I think we're really just trying to push damage. Got a little bit of a bad draw there. Not great there either. We're gonna end the round. Hopefully, they're not gonna go too crazy trying to kill my uh, chariot archers. Yeah, they did a lot of damage there. I think we just kill that guy. And start pushing down. a really advantageous attack for us. Sorry, and you can't... Oh, you're poisoned. Interesting. They apply poisoned to units. That's pretty cool. Look at them go. I'll run this troop down. I don't think there's anything he can do. Maybe we'll get a kill. Got him. What do you want? I'm thinking at this point we maybe just make them our vassal states since we are way ahead of them um, when it comes to everything else. I'm curious to see what she chose. The Byzantines and then the Khmer, okay. I'm fine with all of that stuff. Do that, sure. And we'll keep walking. So War Summons is the one that we're going to want that gets us our Longbowmen, Pikemen, things like that. Feudalism is also really strong. Uh, that it gives us a whole bunch of food, but I think we go War Summons to get out our Longbowmen, which are very, uh, very strong. Interesting. Are you fighting each other? 
No, they're just having their own little interesting disagreement. And how close am I? Okay. this point we'll do this push I don't think they have anything here I think it's gonna be two shots and they're gone no didn't get the kill but we will here and there you go At this point, I think we can I establish an outpost here and where is a good spot to do it? 10 and 14 or 12 and 11, I like there. So they have established a city there, which is quite interesting. But let's collect this, get some gold and then heal. We're at a point now where, come on. Might we help you what do we start doing here? This can, yeah, so it's freaking, Mama Aklo is taking over everything. She's being really annoying. I think here we just chill. We're not gonna hit. And at this point, we're just gonna keep churning out these uh, strongholds. They're just really good. All right, so let's end this war here against Livia Drusilla. I can essentially cripple her here. So I think I'm actually going to wait and let's just push and take uh, Cahokia at that point. Yes, I love communal lands and I love being able to enact it for free. She is surrendering and she's willing to basically give me everything. And I'm going to say no. Feng Hao has a couple things attached to it, which is really nice, but we are going to focus on just making it better. Okay, so across your lanes, procession marches, youth, ragged of dress, claim to receive divine visions. Wants to liberate Mathala. I'll permit. We'll see what happens. And if I can, then I'll, I'll uh, attach that and that to Lakama. That being the end goal. We really don't like each other, Byzantines. I get it. Just kicking our butt in fame. So another thing is also, even if I was to um, destroy her, if she has higher fame than me, then I still lose. So that is something that you have to, you know, keep an eye out for. Is that you can, you know, quote unquote, win the game, but actually lose if you aren't. Um, all right, none, none. 
They're still alive. We're buddies. So if you, if you destroy all the other civilizations, but they have higher fame than you, then you still actually like lose the game. So I think here we park it and just get ready to potentially attack them. And then our goal is to take Cahokia and just end this. I'm hoping that I can push. Nope. Gotta wait one more turn. Very annoying. Memphis itself is just going to keep building strongholds. This also lets us put more and more uh, individuals into the food category. All right. Please, for the love of God, can we just end this? We are crossing a river here, which is not my favorite. I think we end the round and let them attack. I know that they are not smart enough to basically <laughs> restrain themselves. They're gonna try and push these attacks, even though it's really, really dumb. So at this point, I should be able to force her surrender and end this freaking thing. Give me, give me, give me. Your support. It is our rock and at this point, sure. How is she still alive? I don't know. Where does she have a city? I guess she has a troop hanging around. I'm gonna refuse that. I don't know where her army is. But anyways, so we have effectively destroyed Libya. There's nothing, she's got nothing at this point. Um, so we'll call it there for part two and I'll see you next time for part three.